So glad you joined me today. I am going to do a special video for a very special friend of mine who I know has this forever um, nude palette. I'm going to show you how to use this palette to the best of its full features. We are going to be using everything in this palette except for two things. This shade right here and this shade right here. Not because they're not fun to use, only because you can't use exactly everything in this palette in one look so um, and I didn't want to get carried away I wanted this to stay a very neutral neutral look so if you're interested in learning how to use this palette to its fullest potential and you want to be able to achieve this look on your over 50 face by all means please stay tuned and this look will work for you younger gals too I just have more wrinkles so at any rate, let's get to that and enjoy. So in order to prep our eyes, I'm actually gonna be prepping my whole eyelid with the MAC, this is an eyeshadow primer, and I cannot read what shade this is, but I think it's painterly, but I'm not sure. Yeah, this is painterly. So we're gonna go ahead and prep the eye surface and get it ready for a shadow. So now I've prepped my eyes and we're ready for shadow. So the first color that I'm going to be using in this palette is um, the lightest shade. I'm going to be using this shade right here and I'm going to be using that as my brow bone highlight. So we'll start applying that and what I'm going to be applying that shadow with is a fairly, I don't know, fairly dense smudger brush. I'm going to be using the Sedona Lace. I'm sure you guys have seen this brush before. Um, I've talked about it before, but I'm going to be loading the brush up with this shade. So I'm going to be putting that right above or right into my brow bone area, just right underneath my brow. And I did load up both sides of the brush so I could flip it over as I started to use the shadow. So just working that right into the brow bone, just like that, or onto the brow bone, however you want to say it. So next I'm going to be applying some shadow to the eyelid itself and I'm going to be putting this shade of pink right here. It's just, it's just got a bit of shimmer, not a ton of shimmer in it, but it does have some shimmer. And no, unfortunately, these shades do not have specific names for them. Don't ask me why. I have no idea, but they don't. So I'm going to be applying this pretty much all over the entire movable lid. So I'm just dabbing my brush into that shade. Quite heavy. And sorry I'm looking down guys, but this is what I gotta do. So I'm just putting it all over the lid, the movable lid. And I'm gonna leave that outer third that outer third corner open, okay? So there we go. So for transition shade in between to create my crease line, what I'm going to be doing with this palette is I'm going to be mixing this shade here with this shade here. So I will pick up a little bit of this light color first and then come into this medium shade right here. And there is a bit of shimmer, just a slight amount of shimmer in that, in that, um, in this shade right here. But I want to mix those two together and apply this with a 
fairly large fluffy, br fluffy brush. We're just going to be applying it to this outer edge and, and tapping it in, come into the socket line to create your, and you know, if you're a hoodie like me, you need to create your own crease. So now that we've got that color in there, just blend it back and forth. And now the same thing with the other eye. Now, if you're very hooded like myself, you're going to want to try and create that, bring that color because this is a transition shade. You're going to want to come up to, you know, right about here, just so that you have a nice transition. Okay. Okay. So now that we have our lightest transition shade into our crease line to create our our inner crease with our hooded eyes. Now we're going to step it up just a little bit darker and we're going to come into this shade right here using a slightly tapered, hopefully you can see that, got a little bit of an angle on it. Um, this is just an e.l.f. brush. So I'm going to be picking up this shade right here next to the darkest shade. I'm going to be picking that shade up now and I'm going to be adding that to my crease line more towards the socket line. So we're going to be coming in right, so excuse me for looking in my, my mirror, but we're going to be coming in right here. And you want to create a line that goes up to your, your, um, your brow. Okay. So just create that line. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. And yes, I'm going above the socket line because I have hooded eyes. And if I don't do this, the shadow will disappear into my crease. So we have to do this, ladies, in order to create a faux crease to give us more definition, okay? So now I'm gonna be picking up just a tad bit more of that and working that into the shape of a seven and tapering it down as we come towards the center of the eye. See that? And the same thing with the other side. And now just blend that. Get your get you get yourself a nice little blending brush and blend that out. And I'll be right with. You. Okay, so I blended off the harsh the harsh edges with just another angled. This is an angled brush. It's just a little bit fluffier, fluffier and um, maybe not quite as dense as this little elf brush, as you can see in comparison. They're both angled, but this one's bigger. So I just use this one as my blender. So now I picked up another angled brush. Hopefully you can see that. And this one's very, very fine. This has a very, very fine line. It's not like the other two. This one is very, very narrow. So now we're gonna be coming into that, the very darkest shade in here, just to create a defining line on the outer, on the outer V of the eye. So you're just gonna load up the tip of that brush into this shadow, not the sides of the brush, just the tip. Okay. Pick up that color and then you're going to lay that color. You're going to create that line out there. All right. We're going to come in on that inner third right there or outer third. And we're going to put that right into the socket line just right underneath that other color, just to create a little more definition. And you can bring it onto the lid a little bit and down. 
and only come when you do this only come right to the center of your eye okay right at the center of your eye otherwise if you go too far it'll make you look tired <laughs> that's the best way I can describe it And the same thing with on the top. You're only going to come into the center of your lid. Don't go beyond that. Otherwise, um, it will tend to make you look tired. So hold on and I'll do the other eye so that they match. Okay, now I have both eyes matching. And if you feel the need to, um, just to create more of a smoother transition in between the shades, you can always go back and add you know take your little elf angled brush and to create more of an outer V um, for your transition you can go ahead and bring this color back in and just define it a little bit more like I did there and then of course make sure your brow bone highlight is good and then come back over your lid again with the light pink shade now I'm going to be getting into this pink shade right here with a pencil brush. This is just an e.l.f. pencil brush. and So I'm just going to be picking up some of that color and kind of loading the tip of the brush with it. All right. And I'm going to be putting some of that into my outer V area up into the, the crease line just a bit. I want to bring a little bit more pink color up into that area so that it all transitions really nice and if you really want to give yourself a nice flushed look this really does help achieve that and it also helps warm up your transition color a little bit too sometimes I'll do this with a blusher um, just to help the transition between the crease line shade and the brow bone highlight so it just gives you a nice little pop of pink right there on the on the edge so that your lid matches the rest of your shadow. So now we'll be getting into some of the more face type things here in this and I'm going to go ahead and be applying some blusher to my cheeks and so I'm going to find a brush to do that with and I'll have you follow. Okay so with an angled blush blush brush we're going to be getting into this side of this palette for my cheeks <laughs> oh goodness learn how to talk right I know I'm being very quiet, aren't I? This palette is such a nice neutral palette. It's really fantastic for a very neutral, natural type of look. As a matter of fact, I am my foundation that I have on today is just a very, very light bit of foundation, and I'm using the um, what is it? the Adri Rind foundation. That's what I have on my face today. And what shade is this in? Mm, hold on. Creamy Ivory. So um, this is a very, very light shade right now. I'm extremely pale, <laughs> but this is something that I'm trying to use up. So that's what the foundation is. So if you're wanting a really, really natural look, and you don't want to have a ton of foundation on which I don't I, I mean there is just a very very light layer of foundation on and some concealer so applying this blush
All right, so now I'm just gonna be adding a little bit of this highlighter along my cheekbone and possibly along the bridge of my nose. I'm not really sure yet, but I am going to be getting into this and give this here a try. So I'm just using an angled kabuki style highlighting brush. And I'm just gonna come along and just right above where I applied that blusher. Okay, and now that means I've used everything in this palette except for, I did not use this shade right here, so now we're gonna be going for my lips. And I am feeling kinda like hmm, this shade right here. So I'm gonna be going for this shade in this. This is a lippy. So we're gonna go ahead and just, I'm not even gonna line my lips, ladies. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on right here. didn't even get out a brush I'm just dipping my finger right into it you know old school very very nude lip so now I'll be putting on some eyeliner and mascara and I'll be back to show you the finished look my eyeliner is the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner and this has a very very thin fine line tip. This actually I think is quite a nice eyeliner. For lining my bottom waterline I am using the Rummel Scandalize in brown for my waterline. My mascara is this and I don't remember who is the manufacturer but so there you have it. This is the finished look. So now you know how to use the Forever Nude Palette from BH Cosmetics. And this is using strictly the products from this palette. Sorry about the reflection, guys. As you know, we use this as my blush color. This, excuse me, this color is on my lip. This was my highlight, and I used all of these shades on my eyes to create this look. So if you've ever purchased palettes like this and you have them sitting in your collection and you're not sure how to put the colors together, I hope this video is helpful. If you enjoyed the video, by all means, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe by all means and join me on my journey. Thanks a lot guys for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you to all of my new subscribers. Welcome and mwah! <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. Stay blessed, stay happy, and stay healthy. Bye-bye.